Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Mercedes such as E-Class, uh, C-Class guys, SLK, GLK. If you want to see how to reset service, stay with us guys and we'll explain how to do that step by step. It's not very complicated at all. We'll explain what services mean, A, B and all that will be covered in this video today. But before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here guys at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we're constantly working on new things, we take engines, bodies, transmissions apart, we will show you how to fix uh, almost anything on a car. Why? Because our mission here guys at the garage is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. And if you guys uh, need to buy any parts, tools, for your Mercedes or any car at a good price of quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our two supplies from and you can save a fortune. So let's explain now how to reset the service light on Mercedes E-Class, C-Class and uh, GOK as well and it's okay. So what we will need to do guys, you will need to get in your Mercedes. When you do that, okay, you will need to close your door all the way make sure it's closed let me by the way i want to turn the ignition on i want to just roll the window down so i can have a person to hold the camera and we can show you everything clearly service a is exceeded now if you guys have a push start button we'll explain how to do that but you can easily remove it if you don't have the push start button we'll explain that too do not hold the brake pedal do not hold the brake pedal and press the engine switch guys one time okay until the lights come on if you press it two times okay if you see all the lights here okay that's bad that's uh, uh, position two we need position one turn everything off click one time without pressing the brake pedal if you guys have a car without a uh, push start button okay on the ones that you have you can still remove it okay you just grab and pull it out and you get the key in i want to show you now what we have okay key is out turn off we're going to put the key in. This is position one. Okay, you can see position one and position two, the lights come on. So we'll go ahead, pull the key out, put it in, go to position one. Now, next guys, we're going to hold, okay. Uh, let me just show you the message one more time so we can see it. Okay, service, you can see right here, service. Uh, but it could say different number. It will work for all of them. What you will need to do, go to, serve, to position one on the key. This is the fold button here. You will need to press this one and hold it. And while you do that, in less than one second, you need to press the OK button and hold it. OK, keep holding for about five seconds. OK, just like that. So we can catch the dash as well. So check this thing out. OK, and I keep holding. Two, three, four, five. Let's see if it's going to pop up. OK. No, it did not. Let me try again. I'll press this one and then this one. Let's give it one more try and see. Okay. Oh, one, one big mistake. That's good catch, guys. Right here, if you have the MPG, that's not going to work. What you will need to do, go on your trip and select, guys, trip, scroll down until you see the odometer. That's what you need to see right there. The odometer needs to be there, guys. Now, you're going to press that one in less than one second. While holding it, press OK and count to five. OK, and we should have, OK, the service menu pop on the screen. It says vehicle data. OK, and the third one is assist pause. You can see we're going to assist pause. Scroll down, select OK. Here you have service data, OK. And it says workshop code, service A5, uh, remaining distance 6,200 miles, 375 days, oil data record, all that stuff. So go back. We're going to select full service. Under full service, we'll select OK. Here you have the different services, guys. OK. That needs to be, uh, uh, that could need to be performed soon and all that stuff. You're going to click configure full service click OK, service carried out, select yes, click OK, cannot be undone, confirm, click OK, full service carried out. What do we have now? Let me show you guys. Okay, we can exit here. Now if I go ahead and remove the key, 
let me just push put the push start button key here and I go ahead and even start the car okay check this thing out we don't have service light anymore so that's how we reset it guys so you can see guys that's how we reset the service it will work on multiple models mercedes e-class c-class GLK as well guys they use that same menu the same design same dash practically uh, if you guys want to see anything else specifically on mercedes or any car practically check out our channels we have more than 9,000 free repair videos that can save you guys thousands of dollars in future car repairs thank you for watching and see you next time